As you teach across the semesters, you may wish to carry over content that you previously created. This is commonly referred to as a course import, although you may hear it referred to as a content transfer. This video will demonstrate how to perform a course import to import a full course or selected activities. To begin, navigate to the course that you wish to copy content from. Once in the course, select Course Management and click Edit Course Settings. Copy and paste the course full name. Next, navigate to the course that you wish to import content into. Select Course Management and Import. This page will display a number of courses for you to choose from. If it is not displayed here, simply paste the text into the search box that you copied from your previous course and select Search. Once the course populates, click the radio button for it and click Continue. In order to retain the full gradebook structure of your previous course, you will need to include all activities, resources, blocks, and so on. If you wish to do this, you would scroll to the bottom and click Jump to Final Step, and the import would begin. However, there may be occasions where you don't want to copy an entire course's content, and you simply want to copy over an individual activity. To do so, you will select Next. On this page, you will be able to select what items you would like copied over. For this example, I'm going to deselect the entire week one's worth of content. You will notice that now each item that is housed under the week one section will not be brought over. Once you are happy with your selections, scroll to the bottom and click Next. The following page displays the options that you have selected and serves as a confirmation for your review. You'll notice those with the pink X next to it will not be copied over. Once you confirm your selections, scroll to the bottom and click Perform Import. This process may take up to a minute or two depending on the amount of content that you have. This page will display when the import is complete. Click Continue to return to the course. The course will now have the imported content loaded into it. By default, each course will appear in the one topic format, which displays the topics, weeks, or sections in tabs. If you would like your course displayed in a different format, you can visit the course settings and choose the course format of your liking.